very interesting. Remember Frank Sheerhan, the Irishman? He allegedly killed Jimmy Hoffa. I already put that to bed. That never happened. It wasn't Frank Sheerhan. Great movie, just the movie wasn't factual. Frank Sheerhan did operate or did run a union local in Delaware at the time. And it was during election time in 1972 that he got a visit from a lawyer for the Democratic Party. And it seems that a number of ads were going to be run at that time, just before the election, that the Democrats didn't want run. So they went to Frank Sheerhan. Frank Sheerhan did them a favor. They put a strike up in front of the newspaper building that was going to run all the ads, the Teamsters. And nobody would cross that picket line so that the ads that were being sent, remember, there was no online at that time. This is 72. The ads that were to be sent to the building, to the news building, to print, never got there because they wouldn't cross the picket line. The trucks wouldn't. And as a result, those ads were never run. And it just so happens, who wins the election? Brand new senator in 1972 in Delaware, but Joe Biden. That's correct. Democrats went to Frank Sheerhan, who controlled the Teamsters Union. You know, he did have connections at the time. That was true. He had connections at the time with the mob. You saw it in the movie. That part was true. He just didn't kill Jimmy Hoffa. But the Democrats sent a lawyer to see him, knowing he was mob-connected, and they got a favor from him. And Frank Sheerhan said later on that as a result of that, Joe Biden's door was always open to them any time they had a grievance or they wanted to talk to him about anything. I don't know what happened. I don't know if any other favors were done. I have no idea. But our newly elected senator in Delaware, Joe Biden in 1972, opened his door to Frank Sheerhan, the union, the mob, who knows what. I'm only saying you could, uh, you know, you could guess. I don't know anything specifically that happened, but this is real life.